What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. You thought your soulmate was the guy who literally plays video games every single night? You thought your makeup caked up on your face looked good? Shots fired! Shots fired! Don't come at us crazy. Look, the one thing that girls have to understand, come here. If your partner plays video games, that's probably the best situation to be in. You wonder why? That. Because you never have to worry about where your partner is. They're at the house playing the game. Okay. And the thing is, if your partner loves video games that much, that is a negotiation tool that you mm. have now. Don't do you like understand that. that if you want anything done, all you have to do is say, if Stupid. you get this one thing done, you can play the game for a couple hours. I promise you, they will do whatever you want. Dude, it, let me know in the comments, if my girl leveraged one of my hobbies as a negotiation tool, I'd be annoyed. I'd be so annoyed. Let me know in the comments, though. Do you agree with that or do you disagree? I just, I would not, uh -uh, I would not like that. Ladies, if your man play video games, Grand Theft Auto, NBA 2K, Madden, Call of Duty, understand that that man is living his dreams out on that game. <laughs> Everything he's not in real life, he is on that f game. I'm a 6'5", NBA All-Star. You understand what I'm saying? Because <laughs> here's the thing, I'm looking around the room, there's a lot of fucking beautiful women here. A lot of beautiful women. I'm looking y'all, y'all face, y'all wear makeup. That's okay. Right? Because guys, we don't walk past the room like, wow. <laughs> Wow, you just gonna play fuck make believe in your face all day? You just gonna draw your cheekbones on and thin your nose out. Wow. Those are the eyebrows you going with. Wow. We don't do that. And here's the thing, when we turn that game off, we understand that it's over. We get back to reality. Y'all, yeah. y'all take Yeah, I'm not make Arthur Morgan. I'm not. <laughs> face it. Y'all go out into the world with it. <laughs> and accept compliments. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I woke up like this. You know how crazy it'd be if you saw me rushing down the street like, Calvin, where you going? I'm playing the Pistons at 7.30. I can't talk about that. Playing the Pistons at 7.30. <laughs> That's good. That guy's funny. See, I don't like that play video games. I was about to say, if you would play the video game, is uh, that who? bad? No. It's some I mean, people, that's, that's how some yourself. people's peace. That's how some people yeah. meditate. But you don't want a nigga to play video games. I'm not. Into you want a nigga on a block serving crap. No. It's like me saying I don't want my girl on social media. I want her in the kitchen cooking. Shots fired! Shots fired! It's a hobby. This is where women always have to task us men of doing something. They just can't stand a man doing nothing. I talked about this. There's one like men's minds are like boxes. Everything's compartmentalized. We have a nothing box, and this nothing box is something that women cannot understand at all. Women's minds are like a ball of wire. Everything's connected. So they think if you're playing the game, you're a lazy ass in real life. Like, in reality, it's just a hobby for us. And this is my other thing, is where most women don't have hobbies. Men can have hobbies. Men are hyper competitive. Usually men are playing a game to achieve something. Either play with their boys and do the camaraderie thing, or go out and accomplish something. Women don't have hobbies. Going to Target's not a hobby. <laughs> Going to TJ Maxx. And getting a Starbies is not a hobby. Those are just tasks to keep you busy. No, oh, I just, <laughs> I just, I realistically, I haven't dated a man since college that played video games. So I don't even know where in your day that was for. <laughs> like, when do you have time to yeah, do that? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. The more, the more, the more success I enjoy. But you're single enjoy. and you don't have kids and stuff. And you don't have a, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, more the more success I enjoy, the more time I realize, damn, I really don't have as much time because I ain't been on the games since like exactly. Monday. And I want my man working and not playing a game. I want my man working <laughs> and not worrying about cooking. That's what I'm saying. They just want men working. They want to task us. I hate this ideology. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite game. My favorite, ga my, my favorite two. Actually, let me know in the comments your favorite two games. My first favorite game, Red Dead Redemption, the whole franchise, RDR2 and RDR1, or I guess whatever, and the zombie spinoff they did and then the other one would be halo 2 do you play video games at all i do oh our next person has a question she doesn't know if this is a big a big nothing burger mm -hmm. or if this is something to be concerned about i think it's kind of a fun question though nothing it's a burger. quick hit listener mailbag um she says the guy i'm seeing only plays as female characters whenever he plays video <laughs> games some are stock characters as part of the game but he also plays as female custom characters is this a red flag no man that's super interesting because he's like, just using them for eye candy sometimes that cgi be looking good jiggling and wiggling when i play like fighting games i like i've always gotten like a rap for this like i do play with like the female characters on them on the game but i just think they're cool like i don't know Something, something about it, it's been cool. I don't um, think most guys think about it that much. I'm going to be honest. I don't think most guys think about it. Reasons why you should encourage your boyfriend to play video games. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I know this is a weird topic. And to be honest, this is good to a certain extent. So, guys, let me know if I'm wrong. 
Ladies, pay attention. He gets to have his guy time. He plays video games with Can't the agree. boys. Let him play. Give him some space. I guarantee you that when he's done, he's gonna be so excited to talk to you because he missed you. Guys are so competitive. Mm -hmm. Just let him take it out on video games. It honestly helps them, especially when they're stressed out. So in general, your man's is gonna be in a better mood. Lastly, guys strive to succeed. So if they win in a match, it just makes them so much happier. It's a little boost to their confidence too. Plus they had a good time. Some space in a relationship is good. Ladies, if he's playing video games, go hit up your girls. Do something that you love to do too. Well, there's two things on this one, two things on this one. Loki, does somebody want a carrot? I saw you licking your lips. Free. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Two things on this. First of all, men are hyper competitive. We do like to compete. And there's a lot of camaraderie that goes into it. But the other piece of it that she mentioned, space. I believe you need to have space away from people to actually miss them. If you hang out with them all the time, you start taking them for granted. I think it's good if a man can disconnect from his chick and go play the game for a bit. Go hang out with the boys. I think a lot of women are just envious and jealous. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Do you think women are just envious and jealous because they don't have a hobby where they can go hang out with their girls? Like, you can't go do wine night every freaking Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know if they have a cat petting zoo. Stupid. You know what I mean? Like, it comes to a point where men start to have these hobbies where they can go and hang out with their boys, where women really don't have hobbies. Like I said, going to TJ Maxx and getting a Starbucks is not really a hobby. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them here, ladies. Don't shoot the messenger. And so it means one... I'd be at home and he on his way home from the studio and I'm up in the room, I'm posted up, I'm sexy, I'm cute. And I'm thinking he gonna come up going, hey E. No. I, the door open. Okay, maybe studio. he got something to drink. And they, okay. Keep it a buck, it's giving Edna mode. Shots fired, shots fired. Hellaciously giving Edna mode. Hey, you in the kitchen first? Okay, that's fine. I'm still waiting, I'm posted up. Then I hear the TV come on. Okay, maybe you want to check sports. <laughs> the video game. The video game first? What game? Yes. No, you could come home and go play a video game. You know you got a whole wife upstairs and she cute and you ain't gonna come say hi. But he wanted to play his video game. That was his hey, normal. Hey. Come from home yeah. come home from the studio. She's cute. Cute. And getting married is merging your normals. What you yeah. would usually do, what he would usually do. Most times women have this big, we're gonna be this, and guys don't really have that. Right. So they go on living their life, right? Y'all yeah. have to learn how yeah. to be a married couple together. What does that look like? Well, how does that feel? Yeah. I was used to a lot of family, so I was always having my family over. And yeah. I know he was sick of it. Yeah. And I'm super churchy. One day he came home and I decided to bless the house, but I didn't tell him. So he came in, it was church praying people <laughs> all over the place. Da, 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 ba, she, bless she, she, she. oil all over. Ya, da, 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 ba, shota. He was like, Oh. Play my video Absolutely game. not, bro. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Have you been that like to play 2K and then when- That's when, too much. How, Wait, well, he didn't even finish what you would say. What's, what you said? Y'all mean niggas that like to play video games and then when he get in a relationship with y'all, y'all want him to much. stop playing video okay, games. Okay, there's a difference. Like, so if you're playing video games and then it's like affecting like your daily day, you're not doing anything <laughs> and I want the it better It goes back to the tasking of men, dude. That's all it is. They just want to see you busy. They don't want to see you like, we are busy. I'm on a game. I'm going to tell you. You want to say what I mean? Like, okay, I met you playing 2K. Okay, you're playing it throughout the, first of all, even if the person was playing 2K when you met them, like, why didn't you stop talking to them? Like, I just don't, stop playing because he played. no, 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 but it's like, why would you even, why, yeah, why would you continue to deal with him if you didn't want that? Flag. Yeah, that's a red flag. Like you guys being on social media all fucking day, weren't that what the fuck like, going in? Yeah, be being that, yeah like right, you like you being on social media, what happened to that? I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate from women who are dating men who play video games, but I just gotta get this off my chest.
So you know how, like, men will say that they need to come home and then just, like, turn their brain off and video games does that for them? Mm -hmm. I'm talking, like, healthy, you know? Like, you're still an adult, but this is your downtime? Well, let me just say, ladies, you're missing out. So, I've been watching him play, um, this Xbox game, and it got me, like, really intrigued. So, he got a new Xbox. I got his old Xbox. I'm like, hey, can you show me how to play this game? I don't know if it was a blessing or a curse. Because on Saturday, I played that game for like almost six hours. Bro, I'm telling you, ladies, if you get into these games, some of these games are incredible. I'm trying to get Cass into Red Dead Redemption 2 because it is a beautiful game. My eyes were like... And every time I come home, I just want to play it. So when the kids are in bed and the kitchen's clean, I like run to the bedroom so I can play. And then sometimes he plays. And then we talk to each other in a party. But it's awesome. You should Dude, try I'm it. telling you, ladies, you want, you, you want to get closer to your man? Loki, go to your place. Place. You want to get closer to your man? Start playing games with him. And I'm not talking about those games. I'm talking about video games, ladies. That is one of the hottest things. Let me know. Let me know in the. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Let me know. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just start calling you chat. You guys chat. Let me know chat. If a girl plays games with you, is that hot? To me, that's hot. You want to play games? Let's do it. Like I'm so down. It's something that I'm so into, and we can both hop in a party and we can have a good time. Like I'm down like a frown, Charlie Brown. Hot take. I Boyfriend plays video games. I love it. A little hatch alarm clock, playing a sweet melody. I read my fairy dragon shadow daddy smut. Fairy dragon shadow daddy smut. What? I love it. Hot take. Uh, okay. If he plays any of these five games, he's cheating on you. All right, let's see. First on my list, we have Valorant. I can't start off this list with any other Bro, game. What? If the double the double hoop earrings trying to tell us who's cheating? Come on. Shots fired! Shots fired! Got that um got that wicked witch of the west haircut. Like what is it? Light purple or white? I cannot tell. He plays Valorant. I'm sorry to break it to you, but he is cheating on you. I don't believe that. You better check his Discord because I can guarantee you there's at least one girl there that he met on Valorant. <laughs> what? They're just not. Let me know in the chat. Let me know, chat. Do y'all play Valorant? I don't. I'm sorry. They're just not. Next on my list, we have 2K. Most of the guys that play this game are athletes in real life. They play basketball. And we all know that basketball players are not loyal. Do not date a guy that plays this game. That. He's cheating on you. Next on my list, Fortnite. There's a lot of different groups of people who play Fortnite. But the guys around my age that play this game are not loyal at all. I don't know what it is. They always meet girls on this game. I really don't know what it is. I genuinely don't. Next up, we have Roblox. He is Roblox? not playing this game by himself. You know how easy it is to meet people on this game? I can guarantee you he is not being loyal to you while he's playing Roblox. I don't care if he's not like- What, what, what is he? What, it, what do you even do on Roblox? Full blown cheating, but he definitely has like a little e-girlfriend or something. And last but not least, we have Apex Legends. That game is hard though. Especially if he's on control. Chat, which one of those games do you guys play? Especially if he plays ranked and he's good at ranked. Just every single controller predator in this game is not loyal. What? It honestly must be their egos One or something. One of the comments says, my boyfriend plays Valorant and he recently asked me to make a pie for his girl, online bestie, <laughs> that he has never met for her birthday. Should I be concerned? Uh, yeah, a little bit. My ex had five girls in his DC waiting for him to play Valorant with him. All of him are his exes. Ooh, we met on Valorant, bro. What? <laughs> is, this the, is this the new meta? Is this a new meta to meet girls on Valorant lobbies? What the hell? I can't do it anymore. He is obsessed and addicted to video games. I mean, what he doesn't even wear button downs anymore. He just wears this. Like, he's not even dressed up for therapy. And she knew that I loved gaming when she married me. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's you know, what a lot of these women do. It's like, you knew, like, girl, like, Cass calls me stupid all the time. She's like, you're so stupid. And I'm like, hey, you knew I was dumb when you got with me. <laughs> you expected me to change? You expected a whole new world. I'm not Aladdin, baby. I don't have a magic carpet. <laughs> Nothing's changing. I'm dumb. You knew I was stupid the day you got with me. Don't get mad at me now for keeping it a buck and keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I lost everything that day. Okay, all my unique items, gone. And it's like she doesn't even care that it was hardcore mode. If you say hardcore mode <laughs> one more time, I'm jumping out the f window. Hardcore mode. <laughs> Shannon, what I'm hearing here is that Matthew is, this is trying be to tell skit. you that his hardcore character meant a lot to him, and it seems like you're not listening. 
Are you kidding me right now? Tell me, is there something- Accountability is the plague for these women. In your life you care deeply about. A person, maybe. Oh yes, our son. Our living human son. And how much time and energy would you say you've put into turning this person into something you're proud of? Oh well, his entire life. So that's how many years? Nine year, ten? Ten years. Wow. Do you <laughs> even know his middle name? Sonic. Sonic. Okay. You see how obsessed we are? I can't do it anymore. Sonic is his middle name? I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't know. What do you guys think, chat? <laughs> ten years of little Duke Sonic Nukem is not correct. <laughs> As the top comment says, 10 years of little Duke Sonic Nukem is nothing compared to the time I spent in Diablo 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I got a question. So wait, 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 I've seen her before. This is the girl, um, the llama from the Emperor's New Groove. Shots fired! Shots fired! I think it's her. Ladies, what's really the beef with men that play video Bro, games? the 90s called, they want that t-shirt back. Keep it a buck though, it's kind of clean though. <laughs> like, why is this such a big deal? Why do I come across so many videos with shorties destroying councils, deleting files, complaining, nagging? Like, why that, why that bother you so much? Like, the time spent. Okay, okay, hear me out, ready? Have you ever tried to play the game with him? Most women haven't. No? Okay. Try that in case you have not. If you have and he has not let you, my follow-up question, is he a Twitcher? Like a streamer? Like he makes money off of that? A Twitcher? Bro, don't nobody call it a Twitcher, bro. His answer is yes. You know where I'm getting at. The answer is no. Now, my follow-up question to that. Have you spoken to him? To, not at, in regards to compromising hey you're on the game 16 hours a day can i get like three of those right cool because i still don't understand why i literally be seeing shorties going wild on their men because they're playing the game i don't have a gamer like my man is not a gamer um he's a fighter martial arts type of thing so and a writer so i compete with his phone Cause he's always writing that's she's on to where something, i though. compete so i do understand what what the whole like your face is all in here and it's not here like i get it i've been there it's not a video game it's writing i get it but why do y'all go so hard why does it get so extreme why y'all well, i think number one is because women don't understand the appeal to video games because it's not a hobby that most women even do but I think second of all, uh, and, and no, this is kind of like two things in this second of all. Number one is women want to task us. And let me know if you agree with this. Women want to task us. And also, women want all of your attention. Women cannot stand it if you are not paying attention to them. So those are the two things I think it is. Let me know what you think, chat. Now, there are people that will say, well, I play video games to relax. And the truth is you don't because people... What? I do. Okay. There's nothing better than laying on the couch and playing some cozy, cozy uh, campaign, dude. Nothing better. I say that. Let me know, then chat. Do you guys play video games to relax? Like, I don't. I don't get on the game to like be stressed. Now, are we competing when we're playing COD with the boys? Yes, but like, I'm there for the camaraderie. What do we play for, Candice? Video games are actually remarkably stressful. It's fun, but it's stressful. <laughs> yeah. Tell me you don't play video games without telling me you don't play video games. Why do women hate when men play the game? Probably because we ain't getting a, a good enough attention. That's really what it is. Egotistical. It's like Narcissistic, can, selfish. You can play the game for a while, yo, like. Ladies, if you can read a smut book for six hours, let us play the game. Ladies, if you can scroll social media for four hours, let us play the game. Ladies, if you can be on Netflix, Tubi, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, or Disney Plus, please, for the love of God, let us play the game. We're into different things. Different strokes for different folks. We're into different stuff. It's okay to be different. We don't need to be exactly like, and you don't need our attention all the time. Sun up to sun down, and you didn't just check up on me like, for two seconds then went back on the game. Like that's not enough. We need to be outside doing something. So this is probably why. As females though, what we can do though, is we, we can find something that we like to do and just be next to them. Cause they, do, they don't mind the company. It's just, you know, telling them to get off the game right then and there and they in a the match. <laughs> 
that's not gonna work. So yeah, that's it though. Just and for men, give your girls more attention. That's it. The thing is, y'all, we give you more attention, you're hypergamous, you're just gonna wanna dip. Um, a lot of these guys escape to a false reality of a video game because they can't win at the real game of life. Okay, so if you have a man- <laughs> Yeah, I escape. I escaped to Dead Island 2 because I really wish we were in a zombie apocalypse and I was fighting for my life every day. Oh my gosh, if only. I, I only play Call of Duty because I wish I was on the front line shooting people and being shot at. Oh man, God. It's not reaching his potential because he's reaching his potential in the video game. You need to unplug that video game and tell him to go play the real game of life and win at that. Okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because there's no point of playing a video game if you're a loser in life. That's for relaxation after you've gotten all of your work done, accomplished things, da 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 da. Not to compensate for your lack thereof. And that's what a lot of people. Yeah, I kind of agree. If you're literally playing the game all day, it's probably a bad thing. Um, but I think a little bit of gaming is not bad. I don't. I really don't think it's bad. All right, there's three types of guys that you're gonna deal with. All right, these are the video gamers, right? So you got the guys that play just the killer. It's so hard to listen to these girls when they have the bull nose rings. It is just so tough. Shooting game. These guys are typically real aggressive, but they low key real soft. But then they can turn around and choke you up real quick. Then you got the guys, right? That only play the sports games. Now you really be worried about them because they get off one sports game that takes them forever to play just to hop on another one that they be off for like four hours. Then they're like, oh, babe, the game coming on. I got to watch that, too. So you really know you're not getting no quality time from these guys because that's all they're going to do. But the ones that you really, really got to be worried about are the ones that play both the killing games and the sports games. All right. Because these ones ain't going to give no fuck. They're going to give you literally like two maybe three hours of their time if that and what what's wrong with giving you two or three hours how, how much time do y'all want you ladies be wanting just like 18 hours a day <laughs> just staring at you spending time with you like stop all the ladies god forbid we have a hobby right now if your man is a gamer right if he doesn't try at least three times to get you to like the same games as him to start playing then he's not in it for the long term i'll tell you why because if i want to be with someone long term i'm gonna play those games regardless mm -hmm. yeah Okay, so instead of you being mad that I'm playing them, I'm going to train you to play them so we can play together. So yeah, we're spending no. time together. Wow. That's what I'm saying. Ladies, video games are so much fun. If you guys just sat down for a minute and play with us, I promise you'd be happy. Would you date a guy if he's a gamer? I have, and I would not do it again unless it's the games that I play. What do you play? I play chill. I play NHL? Day. What? <laughs> Hockey? I don't know, chat. Maybe maybe I'm being dumb here, but let me know in the chat. Who plays NHL 24? <laughs> I play UFC. Fortnite I'm best at. I think there's also a difference between someone who likes playing video games and like a gamer. You know, someone That's true. someone who's playing hours yeah. and hours. I just enjoy video games. Would I date a gamer though? Not a total gamer because last time I dated like a guy that gamed all in his free time when he wasn't napping and I once came to visit him after like a while of not seeing each other and the first thing he did was hop on Fortnite and I thought to myself I was like tough I shouldn't be here <laughs> brutal For some reason it feel like we all running into the same five <laughs> you got the guy who says he's uh, but did she lie though women breaks down the same five men that most women run into when it comes to dating all right let's see not ready for a relationship, but wants to do all the relationship things. Second, you got- Okay, so the first one, I can't even see what the- The, the guy who's not over his ex. And he don't realize he need to go talk to the lady. Okay, so the first guy was not ready for a relationship, second guy's so not over his ex. Third, you got the one who got a baby on the way. He not really claiming it because he don't know if it's his. Oh. Then you got the one who is all on your- Giving you everything that you need. Conversation personality making you feel comfortable making you feel safe and it just randomly decides to ghost you for like two weeks they're not ready and they be so busy boy f you <laughs> and then the fifth one this is the one who you try to give a chance to who's not really in your league maybe i need to try some new things so let me just give him a chance so you give him a chance and then he play in your f face and that's all that are out here right uh, now i'm sorry but i feel like just the men that you pick are those men i'm sorry um i don't really know what else to say i don't feel bad for women when they can't choose men correctly 
It's really tough for me to, to have sympathy for these women. Let's hop into the Discord and see what we have today, gentlemen. All right, so we've got a clip from the, uh, this is from Yang VT looking to get his uh, redemption here. I think I tried to um, react to a clip of his yesterday, and it, uh, I just couldn't hear the audio, brother, so. You don't think that men should pay on the first date? In fact, I was listening to you earlier describe how you think that men should pay for dates with women who want to be equal, don't want to give them children, and also want to have their own careers, and that absolutely blew my mind. You don't think that men should pay? Pay on the first date? Oh, I pay for you? Goodness gracious. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big gonna, bag. Gonna have to go to Red Lobo just to get the bottomless shrimp. <laughs> Good lord. They just ended that, by the way. I think they should pay on the first date for women who are going to be wives, not for women like you. I wouldn't be a wife? Not if you're going to refuse to give a man children, have to it's have your own career working outside the home. It's not refusing to get a man chores? children. No, you're a roommate. Why would a man pay for you if you're just a roommate? Do you want to be equal or no? You don't think that men should pay on? <laughs> Rachel Wilson's cooking, bro. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get an interview with her. She is so freaking good, dude. Um, she's so based. This next one is from E. Uh, who is this person? Just E. Period. 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 You guys be killing me with these names. This looks like something from an SNL skit. Um, so let's pull this up really quick. A new study finds that despite women making less money than men, more single women in the U.S. own homes than single men, thanks to a phenomenon economists call divorce. I was about to say, from divorce and alimony, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're not actually buying the homes, bro. They're like, that's just, it's what it is. Uh, there is a, uh, let's see here. And then we have one, another one from Yang. Yang, you be, you be throwing them down in here, buddy boy. I appreciate you. If you guys, so this portion, what we do on this, this portion of the video, like the last few minutes of the, the videos that we do, um, I'm just going to be reacting to stuff that you guys send in the discord. Discord link should be in the description. Go there. And then, um, just put it in the suggestions channel and I will react to it. Hey Tyler, are you on your way to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're awful! <laughs> Modern women, you know? It's just, it's like that. But it's crazy to me that these women are tripping so hard on guys playing video games. This is my hot take from today's episode though. And let me know if you agree, chat. Women don't understand the concept of having a hobby. They don't get it. They simply cannot understand it. Women understand tasks and being busy. It's like busy work IRL. All they understand is I need to go to TJ Maxx, I need to go to Starbucks, I need to go here, I need to go there. What happened to the good old days when a woman would just support a man sitting there relaxing? And I think it's mainly because these women just cannot understand what it is to have a hobby where you do nothing. This is where I talked about in a previous episode where men and women are just different. Our minds are wired differently. A man's mind is like boxes. We have our nothing box, we have our sports box, we have our food box where we just take those boxes out and we talk about that thing and then we put the box back up. Women's minds are like a ball of wire. Everything's connected. Oh, you wanna play video games? It's because, you know, two weeks ago you ignored me and it's because of this and because of that and you really don't like me and because you wanna play the video game, you don't wanna spend time. It's not that complicated. We want to play the game because we just want to chill. We just want to hang out. And women cannot understand the concept of a man doing nothing. I just can't, it, it blows me away, dude. I love playing games. Absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments once again, what is your favorite game of all time? And if you want to take it another level and you made it to this far in the video, we shout out to you if you did. Give, give me your two favorite video games. Mine are Red Dead Redemption 2. In Halo 2. Man, those were the freaking days. God, those were the freaking days. But don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. It's in the description there. I think we've sold over 60 copies, so shout out to you guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, but I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.